Hey everyone, welcome back to more uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses Redux with uh, Warrior deck. So, um, last time we, we beat some people. We beat uh, Rich Red, uh, Cicelina of York, for example, and uh, I think Ishtar. I don't actually know. I don't remember who we beat last time. It's been like a week, so. Today we're facing off against Seto and hopefully also the final boss. But, um,. Who knows? I mean, sometimes these battles battles take like 30 minutes, sometimes it takes like 5, so... It's hard to say, but... Uh, we do have a couple of monsters that get like... Strengthened when fighting dragons, so that should help us... In, uh, specifically the battle against Kaiba. I mean, we get judgments right away, that's nice. Also, obviously drawing a uh, Gate Guardian right off the bat is really good. Also, kind of forgot that this map had Meadow, which um, helped us a lot, honestly. So, that card doesn't have uh, over four stars. Which definitely narrows down who it could possibly be. In the sense that it's definitely not like a... Um, well, I, I, I think dragons actually get like level reduction. So it could be a bit stronger than I may uh, expect. Right? I mean, he does have level reduction. Yeah, I think he actually has it by two stars instead of one. That being said, I'd probably just prefer him to attack into me on the uh, meadow, at least for now. We may as well, you know, make use of the meadow, what we have. Okay, that seems like maybe a stronger monster, but uh, who knows, to be honest. He puts that thing in defense mode, which... I mean, it's a little strange. We got two Sogans here, so that's... Uh, Tremendous. Like, this shit suddenly becomes, like, way better for us. I'm gonna keep you there for now to keep our uh, boost and then we drew uh, into our black luster soldier which is really good so we'll just wait until we have enough stars to use him all right he sent something out to fight against judge man he doesn't get any like increased strength so there's at least that and it's a blue eyes white dragon hey they're even weakened on the meta which I didn't know Actually, they might actually just straight up get weakened by us being warrior, which is... That would make Kaiba actually like a hell of a lot easier. Alright. I mean, this thing's in attack position like that, so. Um, I mean, that's unfortunate. Luckily enough, we didn't lose anything too major there. Yeah, this is pretty fortunate for us. He doesn't have anything to be able to beat over at, at least not if he uses a bunch of boosting cards. That's like the only way he can beat over Black Luster Soldier at this point then. The AI doesn't really take in uh, 
take into effect the Black Cluster Soldier's effect, so... Like, it doesn't calculate that at all. Because I think he gets, like, plus 900 or something fighting a dragon, and... They just kind of ignore that 900 added. Yet, he still puts that thing forward, and I, f I thought he put in, like, a boost on that thing, so I'm pretty... It, it feels like that should be a monster. Oh, yeah, no, he just straight up lost. I don't understand this at all. Actually, it looks like he only gets 600 from uh, facing off against dragons, but still... Uh, yeah, uh, he kind of just threw here, but, like, I'm fine with that. Like I said, could take five minutes, could take 30 minutes. I guess this time it only takes five. Helps that we obviously drew, like, tremendous cards there. But hey, win's a win, right? Hey, hey, we got Sayoru for, uh, you know, what it's worth. Alright, nice... Now we just need to beat uh, Mana with Don Fablir. You know, I've actually no clue if I'm even pronouncing his name right. You know, it, like, his character probably, like, the name is probably based off of something. Like, based off of something in, like, Egyptian, you know, history or, like, I was gonna say like British history because you know this takes place in Britain but it's I don't know if anyone actually knows if his name is based upon like some actual like mythology or history or whatever leave it down in the comments I'm actually quite curious because like it, it does not seem like a name they just fucking come up with unless somebody just so happened to just smash his hand into the keyboard and just saw what happened there and put that in yeah this is his crush variant deck who yeah I'd probably say it's harder although Interesting opening hand. Um, I think I don't think this even makes Judge Man. This does make Judge Man. Judgment hand plus Judgment hand makes Judge Man. Uh, all right, that's great. Yeah, I mean, often enough you just lose his battles because of the fact that they just draw into a uh, thing with Jig tw uh, twice for Fry's for Mana's Fire and, uh, you know, for Yoku. Now, hopefully that thing is just uh, shape, uh, shape Snatch because that thing, like, it doesn't actually, like, that card just straight up doesn't affect uh, sh Shape Snatch, so, is that? <clears throat> we can put in, like, our Sogan here. Yeah, we only got three of those, so we're gonna have to make every single one of those count.
<clears throat> I mean, the idea is basically just, you know, defeat him and hopefully free shots. What are we drawing? Um... Nothing too exciting, to be honest. I will use Gay Deke's ability, that would be, uh... You know, hopefully we draw something like Gate uh, next turn, but who knows. I'm assuming it's gonna attack into Judge Man. It's actually not, so... A little awkward, honestly. Cause it's not a good thing that he didn't attack into Judge Man. Alright. I like this though. See if you're attacking to me. Hmm. He really seems to not want to attack me. Oh, well, we've drawn all our Sogans now. I'm just gonna attack into this. Okay, he destroys our uh, hand, which is horrendous for us because we had two Sogans. So now we don't have any Sogans left. That being said, we do do 1600 damage to him, so. And because of Crush, we die there instantly, so we're not gonna have to face off against uh, the guy with the Ryoku power boost. Well, what are we drawing now? Mr. Black Luster of Soldier? Sure. I mean, I honestly would like him to tag into me now. That being said, he doesn't want to take it to me, so... That sucks. Um... I'll keep it like this. Um, yeah, we're still in that range. Uh, let's just see. Alright, now, now he wants to attack into it. Hmm, this could be interesting. Like, if he attacks into my Black Losser Soldier, he's obviously gonna take a lot of damage. Also, it kind of just feels like he knew that Black Luster Soldier was the card uh, below, so he just didn't bother attacking into it. Still, 
If we're at 4,000 now, we should go down to 3,500. I mean that we should still do like a lot of damage. I mean that's that's I think yeah uh, that's just barely not enough to kill it. But if we use a legendary sword. Oh, well, we fucked it uh, royally, I guess. Um, ooh, that, that, that's unfortunate. You know, I don't know why I thought you were Earth. Yeah, you're not Earth. You're dark. I mean, suppose the name is Black Lost Soldier, huh? It's a little awkward. Move back one. Well, we wouldn't have won if we'd attack into him. I don't know why I thought Black Luster Soldier was Earth. I mostly thought that because, like, I think Black Luster Soldier used to be used as an Earth beatdown. In Earth beatdown decks in, like, very early formats of Yu-Gi-Oh, so... Um, it's a little awkward because he just doesn't want to attack into me. Do you, are you seriously not going to do anything? Okay, his power increased for whatever reason. Um, now he attacks into me, but I don't know what happened there. Like, I have no clue. I, I don't know what Soul Eater's ability even does, but suddenly he's got a ridiculously high amount of attack, and there goes our Black Lost Soldier. But luckily enough, Black Lost Soldier is pretty strong, so we just barely survived with 200 life points. Although that's just, that's bad. All right, well, when this card enters the turn face up and in defense position, all monster cards are removed from the respective graveyard and the number of cards removed. Ah, it's just his graveyard, alright. No, wait, never mind, it's just all monsters from both graveyards. Okay, well, I mean, I've got a little bit of a contingency plan here. He can just play something and attack me here, so that pot isn't safe. <clears throat> this thing's kind of scary, but uh, at least it's gone. I guess I kind of understand Soul Eater's value now, but even then, like, it's still a kind of a liable monster to get, you know, taken down pretty easily. Also, Soul uh, Eater kind of makes uh, our boy uh, Sword Stalker a little bit useless at this point. I was kind of hoping to save it up to maybe use as like a last, like a late game. It's like a late game cleaner. I don't know if it's effect now activates because of that. It doesn't. All right, that's good to know. Like any bit of Sogun we can keep is good. Alright, that thing got a power increase, that's a little scary. Um... God dang! God diggity dang god dang! Um... 
We 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 st we're still alive. We're still alive, guys. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. We're still alive, boys. 150 down. We still have 50. I mean, we still have Mr. Gate Guardian. Guardian of Gates. Okay, but what do we draw? We draw a right Geki. That's cool. Um. Sure. Takes out like a couple of his cards, you know, like Slave Warrior, Moisture Creature, and Carrot Idol. I guess it does get protected, like the Labyrinth, I guess, protects this, so. There's that. We do still have, I think, two Tactical Warriors, so we can still make a, a Black Luster Soldier. <laughs> That's just a little funny. Ooh, baby. Sure, I guess. Also, we have no use for Sword Stalker. I'm sorry, my boy, but... You know, here's the hoping that he just attacks into it and... Alright, he does not want to attack into it. You know, it just kind of feels like he just knows. You think he'd attack into that? Oh, now suddenly he goes in defense mode. Um, you know, he definitely has like a bunch of mirror forces. Alright, come at me, boy. Come at me, boy. Oh, you're gonna put your guy suddenly, suddenly he's gonna put everything in defense mode. Like, just screw you with your ultra defensive fucking plays. You know, how come that even though, like, I'm the one calling up, he still decides to not take the initiative? Oh, no, he just straight up refuses to do anything now. The thing is, right, like, I am, like, relatively convinced. I am quite uh, convinced that if we attack, a mirror force is just gonna sp hit up, hit us up.
The thing is, right, he goes down to 3,500. I don't know if I want to risk that, per se. All right, well, let's give it. Come on, man, just, just move. Just do something. Like, be proactive. I'm expecting a mirror for us, and like he's refusing to attack. What? Okay. Why does it take my life points away? Like, what? Like, why does that take my life points away? That's some... It's just weird. Okay, Slade Warrior down. That being said, it does seem like he doesn't have a Mirror Force. That being said, he also just has 50 more cards. That's got a power increase, so that's definitely... Are you gonna attack into that one? Probably not. Oh, who would have thought you decide to not attack? Typical uh, AI being typical. It's genuinely like infuriating at times, to be honest. Like. Can maybe, like, the AI actually decide to do something? Like, they're playing it in a way that it kind of just forces me to make mistakes, because otherwise the game state doesn't continue. And... That's just not fun, is it? Um... All right, well, we're, we're just stuck, I think. The AI, like, we can't hit the AI, and the AI does not, like... The AI refuses to do anything. Yeah, let no. Uh, we're, we're gonna head out. Although we could, I have an, I have one ID. See, the AI just is like. No, I will not go and move my bonds forward. I'll just do nothing. All right, shape, shape snatch is there. I'm only slightly worried about ah, bitch. Of course, he gets spellbound there. Absolutely perfect for him. It's perfect for him, it's horrendous for us. Okay, well, never mind.
I mean, it's kind of all we can do in it. Now I just need to hit him one more time, probably. You are dead. Boom. Uh, that's like a little under the 2,000 we needed to do. Of course, Ripperoni, uh, Gate Guardian, but you did your thing. He still refuses to move the other guys. Could you maybe like attack into him? Or do you just refuse? You probably just refuse, but... put you in attack position, you know, you're just kind of there. Hmm. You know, we're just gonna take it a little slow because, like, the game forces us to do that. Because he absolutely just refuses. Yeah, this thing also, um, direct damage is half. He doesn't actually give a boost. Okay, shit, shit's happening. Okay, well that's late war, it was too strong and we lose. Wait, never mind, we don't lose yet. Because Gate Guardian doesn't take damage. Okay, there's still a slight chance. Maybe he'll actually like... Maybe this encourages him to go uh, on the offense. But yeah, Gate Guardian's ability to not take any damage whatsoever has... Come in handy there. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I think like he, he copies the attack and defense of this dude, which is like 2600. But Garma Sword actually still beats over that. Yeah, if he even takes it. And then somehow, some way, with 13 life points, we clutch up and we win.
sacrifice his life so that we win. Thanks, Garma Sword. <laughs> Fucking thanks, Gate Guardian's ability that he doesn't take any life point damage or battle damage. And with that, we win. Jeez. 13. We had 13 left. Boom, three in a row. Not a very hard one. And we got Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Ain't that a cool little thingy? That was a good finale. That battle was frustrating. Like a little bit. Like the frustrating part was that he just was not biting. Which, um. Yeah, that, that, that's. Looking kind of strange. Especially because I. I. I thought he'd have Mirror Force, to be honest. Also, like, no tremendous fire has also helped us out a lot because, like, I, I still think he has tremendous fire in his deck. Same goes for Mirror Force. Yeah, I, I suppose he either just didn't draw into it, but that's why I was, you know, kind of hesitant to even attack into them. And also, like, against this guy, you need to make every attack count because, you, like, the terrain turns more and more into crush, so you have, you know, only so many times you can really attack into them. Like, because of the fact that, like, two of our Sogans got, like, slashed away, like, early on, we had to take risks and just attack the opponent in crush terrain. But, yeah. With that warrior run complete, and I'm gonna be honest, warrior? They're not bad. They're not bad. Warrior is kind of just hard carried by the fact that it just has so many boss monsters. Warrior is very common, right? There's just a lot of warriors out there. So, uh, a lot of them unfortunately just don't add anything, you know what I mean? Like, you've got like 70 warrior guards and at least 40 of them essentially do nothing t for you. With only like a couple of them being particularly useful like you know judgment hand tactical warrior and gaia right to make like fusions well, i guess princess of Tsurugi and like queen's double also can make uh performance of sword but performance of sword is kind of like the weakest of the boss monsters uh but like the fact that you have gate like gate garden is the second strongest monster in the game already right just by base stats Black Lobster Soldier is really strong. I mean, outside of that, you know, Garma Sword is solid. Skull Garden is alright. Hungry Burger is fun. And also not terrible. So, like, with all those boss monsters, and, like, yeah, Meadow, you've got the Meadow, and you've got a decent amount of booster cards, right? War is definitely solid to very good. The abilities you get from it are also quite nice. Like, it, it's pretty much just the basic abilities, but, like, extended support plus just getting 500 is pretty... Like, it's usually kind of all you need. Like, there are a couple of abilities that are better, like the extra movement in the deck, or the, uh, not the deck cost, the uh, star cost reduction, but... Warrior does the job. It's pretty vanilla, but it does the job. So, you know... It's up there. It's definitely not the best deck, but it's definitely like not bad. It's probably it's like probably middle of the road, slightly up because of its really strong and high amount of boss monsters. So yeah, everyone, I want to thank you guys for just uh, watching the warrior run and uh, on to the next run, which will uh, be uh, I think zombies. I think I'll do zombies next. That should be fun. So. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.